Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from VitalCoaching.com, the mystical gifts of being exposed to her fire blasts. Mystical, okay? Suddenly, so right now, instead of just being an emotion, we are talking about mystical experiences. A woman's emotions and a woman's intensity, you can see that as a mystical experience. It means that her fire, her fire blast, her anger, her intensity, her wild side, all these qualities that we qualify as shadows. First, when we go beyond duality, they are just energy. Okay, it's just energy in a certain form. We don't have to judge it. It's only our mind and our rational mind that says it's right or wrong, it's correct, it's good or bad. Okay, we, dis we create a distinction, we create a duality. But here is the thing, it is that fire is just fire, <laughs> you know? And then uh, we judge it or we say it's good or bad fire. So the next step, once we realize, okay, it's energy, it's just pure energy, and we go, and it's divine, and it's secret. A woman's emotions and intensity are sacred. Do you understand this? The sacredness, it means that they are div divinely created. They are not something to be suppressed, kicked out, excluded from some religious practice. Within the Tantra field, energetic or emotional intensity is part of the game. So it's a powerful conversion to be like, I see the divine in the force and the power and the intensity and the rage, the fire, the anger that this woman is projected on me right now. You know, if I give you this, if I go like, we are pure beauty, we are love. And you go like, wow, yeah, that's sacred, that's a prayer. And if I go like, we are powerful beings. Both of them are energy, right? Ah! Who says that that emotion is not sacred or divine? How do we define that? So you can go into this intensity, into this fire, and be like, both of them, both of them are equally sacred. It's just a different form. And because we are used to the idea of, you know, beauty and love and transcendence, when we dive into the expression of the friction, into human creation and manifestation, well, this is what happens. It's sacred, it's still sacred. Anger, rage, aggression, all that stuff, all these things that we qualify as bad emotions or bad things in our lives, they are beautiful, they are secret as well. And it doesn't mean that we have to, you know, we don't modify them. No, some of these things are corrupted, you know, worse, and, you know, situations where people kill each other, you know, you can go, wow, yeah, no, it's there. there is still the divine play of energies and emotions playing there. But uh, it doesn't mean that we have to accept it all and not try to modify it. But when it comes to just energetic emotion being projected on you, okay? And you look at that and you say, that emotion, baby, it's divine. You are a divine expression. You are a divine archetype of Kali coming through. And you are blasting me right now with a force that is pure fire, pure, transparent, beautiful fire. And the process of exposing me to that fire, you are burning aspects of my ego, big chunks, big walls of my being that I no longer need. It's a service to me. It's a gift to be exposed to your fire. So you don't have to voice that to her. You can if you want to. But this is the idea. It is that there is secretness and there is divinity in that emotion. Because if you take the archetypes of Kali, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Kali, 
I'm not going to bring that too much here. But the idea is this, some of the warrior goddess, you know, they, they, they're, they're bloody, they are, they are warriors, they are intense. Look at the divinities in the, you know, Tibetan mythology. You know, some of them are like monsters. And, uh, and guess what? Those are aspects of creation. They are aspects of the inner world, of the play of energies, coming into incarnation into the world and starting to modify and play with the, with the shadows. So once you start looking at all these emotions, instead of labeling them as right or bad, good and evil, you know, no, it's like it's just energies, expressions. And we as human beings, as human beings, we, our job or our role is to be able to master the play of all these energies. If you go like, well, I can only play that kind of resonance, which is the resonance of peace and beauty, that's, that's beautiful, that's fine. What if rage kicks in? What if you are being challenged one time in your life? And then suddenly you, you are confronted with this very intense vibration and fire. What are you going to do with it? You, have, you need to have the tools. You need to be able to show up in that fire and be present. Okay, this is why, you know, I give this label. I say sacred, divine, put it within perspective. It's something magical happening in your life. I'll see you soon for another video.